It is so nice to be able to go into the customizer from any page and make changes to your site, such as the title, a logo, or a tagline. Unfortunately, you can't change any of the EDD colors from the customizer. To do that, we have to go into the EDD settings. So I'm going to exit out of the customizer and we're going to go to the admin. And then under the admin, under downloads and settings, and then under styles, we can change some of the button colors. This is nice to have, but it's so basic. I wish we could change a little more. Let's take a little look at what it does. So default button color, let's go with white. We'll change this to orange, sounds good. And the default button style, we can make it a button or just plain text, but we definitely want a button. So let's save this. I'll open a new tab and go to downloads here. And we'll take a look at one of our downloads on the front end. You can see there's now an orange button instead of the previous button. And of course, if I change this to green, it'll be green. And there's a few other basic colors. But there isn't much else we can do. I really wish we could change more. To be able to change more, we have to write CSS. Now we could create a child theme to do this, and the EDD starter theme was designed to handle that. So if you know how to write CSS and you're familiar with child themes, go ahead and do that. But for the casual WordPress user, I actually recommend writing CSS in the customizer. So let's go ahead and click customize. And under additional CSS, we can start writing code. I'll scroll down so we can see what we're doing, and I will zoom in a little bit for you. Now, if you want to know more about CSS, I recommend the Introduction to CSS course. Or if you don't have time to learn CSS, then I recommend getting a theme that is already designed the way you want it to look or to get a developer to write the CSS for you. There is one thing I want to do before we start writing this code. I want to set our button color to inherit. So I'm going to go back to our settings page here. And under default button color, I'm going to change this to inherit. And this will make it easier for us to customize our styles because we're basically saying use whatever styles we say elsewhere. So I'll save those changes. And now we'll come back and we'll start writing code. And just to make sure that that new style is applied, I'm going to refresh this page. There we go. It's gray now instead of green. So that's a good sign. So back in the customizer, let's type in, I'll create a new line here and I'll type in dot edd dash submit dot button. Now these are the two classes that edd adds to all of their buttons. So by typing this in, we're targeting all of the edd buttons on the site. And now we can change any of the CSS properties that we want. So I'll add a couple spaces just for readability. And we could change the color of the button to, let's say, red. So color, and we'll just change this to red. And you can see that the change is made right over there. Or I could change it to blue or purple or anything else that I want. Or you can, of course, type in a hex value like CC0000. I actually like white text on a colorful background, so I'll change my color to white. And now we're going to add that background. To change the background, you're going to say background dash color colon, and now whatever color you want. In my case, I'm going to copy the logo that's way up there. So I'm going to use this darker red. 
and that darker red is pound sign 9E1 D20. And add a semicolon at the end of the line. The other property that's probably fine for my design, but you might want to change is the border. So I'll add a new line and type in border. And you can change the weight of the border, making it thicker or thinner, although this is pretty thin already. So I'll change mine from probably what looks like one pixel to let's say two pixels solid black. As you can see, that's a lot thicker. Could change it to one, or you could of course change the color. But I'm actually fine without the border. This looks okay so far, but there is one thing that's slightly confusing about CSS. Since somewhere in the theme, someone already wrote code for a hover style, you can see that the hover style is ignoring these styles over here. So we want to make sure that when we hover over the button, these styles are still honored. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. This is called our selector. And I'm going to add a comma here, press enter for a new line, and then paste. So right now at this point, we're basically saying if it's an EDD submit dot button, apply the styles, or if it's edd dash submit dot button. So we're basically saying the exact same thing twice. But now we're going to add something extra, colon hover. So now we're saying if it's this class and a button, or this class and a button and hovering, then apply these styles. So that's a good start, but I still want to add something extra to that hover effect. So I'm going to create a new style down here. So this is only going to be applied to the hover styles. So this color white is applied to both. And right now the background color is applied to both. But I want to change it so the background color is slightly darker. So I'll copy and paste this. And now I'm going to make this a little bit darker. I've already looked up what it is, and it's 6B0000. So that is a darker red that I really like. And it's very clear that I'm hovering over this button now. Once you're happy with your changes, don't forget to click Save and Publish. Otherwise, they'll never be public. Right now, only you can see these changes. So we've clicked Save. Let's click this little X and make sure that they're applied on the actual page. There they are. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with what we've done, and now we can continue to customize our theme.